What's going on guys, Jonathan here with TLD showing off a demo of the built-in FaceTime HD camera on the new Apple Thunderbolt display. So it records at 720p, 30 frames per second. Here's an idea of how it looks, uh, as well as how the audio quality is. So you guys can shoot me a comment down below how you think it sounds, how it looks. Uh, and I kind of want to bring some uh, information to this, kind of make it relevant, not just a quick test with no point. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me about a possible late 2011 MacBook Pro refresh. So I kind of want to address that. Uh, Apple is known to do that. They did that last year. It's just a silent refresh. It's not a complete overhaul or redesign. I know there were some rumors about a possible 15-inch MacBook Air, like kind of redesign, but I don't think we'll see that until next year. Now, as far as what is possible, I think we'll see the same design, so no complete overhaul, like I mentioned, but we will see possibly uh, maybe a slight CPU bump as far as the processor goes. Currently, uh, as far as the quad-core i7s go on both the 15 and 17 inch MacBook Pros, we have the 2.0 gigahertz uh, quad-core i7 and the 2.2 gigahertz core i7 on the uh, 15 inch MacBook Pro with a built-to-order option of 2.3 gigahertz. Now for the 17 inch MacBook Pro, that starts out at 2.2 gigahertz, goes up to 2.3 for the built-to-order option, and just recently Intel released three new quad-core i7. So that's gonna start at 2.4 gigahertz, go up to 2.5 gigahertz, and then finally at 2.7 gigahertz with a turbo boost of 3.7. So you guys can see how that would fit in. So the 2.0 would be replaced by the 2.4, the 2.2 would be replaced by the 2.5, and the 2.3 would be replaced by the 2.7. So it's a lot of numbers going on. But that's what we're looking like as far as the 15 and 17 inch MacBook Pros. Now, if you guys are curious about the 13 inch model, currently there is a Core i5 2.3 gigahertz model and a Core i7 2.7 gigahertz model. Uh, Intel just released two Core i5s, one being clocked at 2.5 and 2.6. So either of those can go into the Core i5 model of the MacBook Pro. And they also released a dual core Core i7 clocked at 2.8. So it's gonna be a slight bump over the 2.8 that it's currently out right now. I would expect the price to remain the same as far as the video cards and the higher end models. I wouldn't see too much of a change right there, uh, but I just want to kind of give you guys that little overview of what we could expect. So if you're looking to buy a MacBook Pro, I would probably wait off at least till this month or next month. Just keep an eye out for that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Again, this has just been a test of the Apple Thunderbolt display built-in FaceTime HD camera. Feel free to subscribe. Make sure you guys hit that like button and I will catch you guys later.